Hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Minute Travel and today we are over here in New York City for a very exciting 5 minute video as we are outside of the famous Brooklyn Bridge which is just over there and today we are going to be walking over and back again giving you our reviews throughout and experiencing our first time reactions on this very, very famous landmark. And after a very unusual entrance, we have now made it onto Brooklyn Bridge. Here we are. The best time, apparently, is to get a ride in the morning to Ashley. We did leave the apartment at like 6 o'clock. We thought we were going to get here for like 7, and now I think it's like 10.40. So, yeah. if you watch this and head at 10.43, or either the crowds that you're going to get on crossing the bridge. But, what a way. And we'll keep updated throughout as well. And when we get off the other end, we'll tell you how long it's been to cross the Brooklyn Bridge. Wow, we have made it halfway across this 1,834 meters, got it there guys, bridge. And is this amazing or what? The views are absolutely impeccable. I mean, we just walked across here and I didn't expect it to be this good, but if you look down here, right down in the corner, I'll try to zoom in for you guys, you've got the Statue of Liberty, followed by the endless skyscrapers in New York, still blown away by the state, but how many skyscrapers there is. All the way down here until you've got something like the Empire State down there, You've got the Chrysler, which I did see earlier. I can't exactly look how it is now. But all the way down to even more bridges down there, it is absolutely mental around here. Such an amazing spot, such an amazing bridge. And even over our benches here, it's not a long walk, is it really? Let's be honest. Uh, it's hardly a long walk. It's literally, I mean, it's not far at all, to be honest. It's actually really easy, but yeah. It's still pretty really cool. And you've got to remember as well, wherever you walk over, <laughs> you've got to walk back. And in terms of the length, I'd say it's sort of like Tower Bridge, like back in uh, like London, the yeah. UK. It's not really like San Francisco or Golden Gate, no, by any means. I reckon the Tower Bridge is pretty Tower, the same Yeah, yeah I'm looking at the race, yeah, it's around it the same like time. But it does look amazing as well, and these views, still, to this day, day, cannot go over it. How crazy is this? If you haven't done it already, guys, come to New York, anyone's this bridge, free access, straight across, it is amazing. of the bridge and there's only one way to go back now and that is down that way so we'll head down there get to the end see if there's anything different but I doubt there is and we'll give you a review when we get back and after a nice visit down to Brooklyn we are making our way back over the bridge for our final time it's been amazing to be honest and we'll give our review in a second yeah, for the bridge but it's been really fun to cross it. Yeah. Over the other side's nice, there's a nice grass there, it's down there. We didn't have to point out there. As well, I forgot to mention about earlier, but as you can probably tell, you can also drive, cycle, or walk. And what's so interesting about this bridge in particular, they really cater for you. It's like if you see a bike trail down here, you've got a massive bar to start to like you go next to the road. And even when you're walking, your right level, they really have forwarded every single detail. So coming home now, it looks a little bit busier than it was earlier, in fact, I think. It's definitely worth getting even near the start of the end of there. The end of there yeah. can be nice because you get to see all the lights across New York. But the lake is right, you're probably going to be coming from Manhattan, obviously, uh, down to Brooklyn. And when you go over there, there's stuff to do. But we spent about uh, 20 minutes there, maybe. Got, minutes, got, got a Mackie D's. Yeah. Sat down in the park and back again. But again, it's definitely worth a bridge cross over. Oh, yeah. And on our way back, we'll show you some more clips. This time, however, facing into Manhattan. And we have done it. We have made it across the Brooklyn Bridge. And one last thing before I know, there's a lot of people selling stuff on this bridge. A lot. Yeah. I mean, every five seconds, people are selling stuff, which I don't massively mind if I don't get in your face. It would have been nice to just not have anything down on it. It's just like, of course, the government just restricts it. Now, just down here with these. And business wise, a lot busy on the way back. A lot busy on the way back. Yeah. And it's only like midday now, so it's really worth getting both sides done in the morning. Yeah. I mean, it's 12. 12.20 now. So it's, we've been around two hours, and that doesn't include a bit done off stop as well back there. But overall, Brooklyn with a view. The bridge is very good. 
the brilliant itself is a bit iffy, but you know it's We didn't see a lot of it. We didn't see a lot of it, but you know the bridge is lovely. It's definitely worth a visit. And yeah, it's very nice. It's worth a visit. It's worth a visit. And for me, same here. I think it's an amazing trip. Great, it's free. The other side is nice. These you really can't really review it, Mars, until you go to Bill Moran there. We just want to know where we get some food and get back again. Just we've got some Google Maps, it's quite hard to get up here as well. And the first question where we were, it's like a little underpath to get up onto the bridge, yeah. it's a bit unusual. But once you're up here, really good fun. Then the Royal Family. But all that said, that is it for me, Tom Derek, and that was five minutes. See you guys later.